Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. So today's topic is regression lines. Actually, we have started this topic in previous lecture. Now here, we are going to discuss one example on regression lines. This topic regression line is from third unit statistics. Now see the example. Two variables x and y have regression lines. 3x plus 2y minus 26 is equal to 0, and 6x plus y minus 31 is equal to 0. Then find the mean values of x and y, and second correlation coefficient between x and y. See here the regression lines for x and y variables are given. And we have to calculate the mean values of x and y. Means you calculate x bar and y bar, and then you find the correlation coefficient, coefficient of correlation between x and y. See how to calculate the mean values and coefficient of correlation from regression lines. In previous lecture we have discussed the example where we have cal find the regression lines from the given data. Now here the case is reverse. The regression lines are given, and we have to calculate the coefficient of correlation. See how to find let x bar y bar the order pair x bar y bar be the mean of regression series of x and y. See x bar is the mean of x and y bar is the mean of y. So it is the order pair x bar y bar. It is the mean of regression series of x and y. So if x and y are satisfying the equations regression lines, then obviously x bar and y bar satisfies equation of lines of regressions. Uh, it is obvious if x and y are satisfying, then the averages of x and y, this x bar y bar will satisfy that equation, equations of regression lines. So we can replace x and y bar, x and y by x bar and y bar, both the regression lines. 3x bar plus 2y bar minus 26 is equal to 0, means 3x bar plus 2y bar is equal to 26. Second equation, 6x bar plus y bar minus 31 is equal to 0. Means 6x bar plus y bar is equal to 31. Now we'll solve these two equations. To solve these two equations, uh, now we are going to remove the variable y. We have to remove y. Then you multiply this second equation by 2. So that we will get the new equation. 12x bar plus 2y bar is equal to 62. 31 into 2, 62. Now solving the equation number one and equation two, means subtract equation two from one. See, the subtraction is here. 3x bar plus 2y bar is equal to 26 minus 12x bar plus 2y bar is equal to 62. Now this is a subtraction, so you change the uh, sign of every term. Change the sign of second equation. 3x bar minus 12x bar, 9x bar. 2y bar minus 2y bar, it's 0. It is equal to 26 minus 62 minus 36. And so x bar is equal to, you shift this minus 9 here in RHS, it will be in division, minus 36 upon minus, upon minus 9. The calculation is x bar is equal to 4. x bar is equal to 4, so you put in the either equation. If x bar is equal to 4, suppose we are in second equation, x bar is 4. So 6 into 4, 24, 24, we ship that 24 here in RHS. So y bar is equal to 7. So these are the means. X bar is 4 and y bar is equal to 7. So first M is here. Uh, we have to find the mean values. The mean values of X and Y. So the mean values of X and Y are here, 4 and 7 respectively. Second is you find the correlation coefficient. To find the correlation coefficient, you first find the Regression coefficients of y on x and regression coefficient x on y. Now two regression lines are given. So you assume either equation regression line of x on y and the second one y on x. You can assume any one. Assume the first equation suppose. Assume first equation as regression line of y on x. 3x plus 2y minus 26 is regression line of y on x. So it is the regression line of y on x. It is our assumption. You assume it. Now your question will be here. Why we are assuming the first equation as regression line of y on x? Then uh, the answer is here that you assume any equation as regression line of y on x and any equation y x on y. 
but in final answer when we calculate the coefficient of correlation then that answer must be less than 1 because we know that coefficient of correlation its value is always less than 1 if you are getting it greater than 1 then in that case your assumption is wrong and you interchange the equations in that case that is the solution so here this is only our assumption that first equation is 3x plus 2y minus 26 this is the first regression line and we are assuming it it is the regression line of y on x it is the regression line of y on x so you find the value of y so 2y is equal to rearrange the equation 26 minus 3x so 2y is equal to write the term of x first minus 3x plus 26 and so y is equal to minus 3 by 2 into x plus 13 So this is the value of y. We assume it the regression line of y on x. So you find the value of y. And so the term with x is nothing but the regression coefficient. You always remember that when there is a regression line of y on x, in that case the coefficient of x is nothing but the regression coefficient of y on x. Means it is the value of b y x. So it is equal to minus three by two. Okay. Now. Assume the second equation six x plus y minus thirteen is equal to zero is the regression line of x on y. This is also our assumption. Now we are assuming that it is the regression line of x on y. So you find the value of x. So the value of x is rearranging the equation. We have the value of six x. It is equal to thirty one minus y. Then you rearrange it again, and so x is equal to you divide the equation throughout by six. So it is minus one by six into y plus thirty one by six. so i assume that this is the regression line of x on y so the coefficient of y is nothing but your bxy you always remember when we assume the regression line of x on y then in that case the coefficient of y is nothing but your bxy you remember it and so this is the regression coefficient of x on y bxy now the formula to find the coefficient of correlation is given as r is equal to Under root b x y into b y x. Actually, we have discussed it in previous lecture. The regression lines and the formula to find the coefficient of correlation. So this is the standard formula to find the coefficient of correlation from the regression coefficients. So put here the value of b x y and b y x. And after putting the values, you do the calculation. And the calculated value is one by two. One by two means zero point five. So our coefficient of correlation is zero point five, means it is uh, the correct value because it is less than one. So our assumption here is correct. That first equation we assume that it is y on x and second as x on y. If here your answer is uh, r is equal to means coefficient of correlation is greater than one, then in that case your assumption is wrong. Then here you have to interchange the equation means you. Then in that case, you consider the first equation as regression line of x on y, and second as y on x. This is the solution in that case. But here, the value is r is equal to zero point five is less than one, so our assumption is correct. So this is the way to find the coefficient of correlation. There is one more example. You try yourself. Try to find the solution. If two lines of regression are here, nine x plus y. Minus lambda is equal to zero, and four x plus y is equal to mu, and the means of x and y are here two and minus three respectively. Then find the values of lambda, mu, and the coefficient of correlation between x and y. So here two regression lines are given. I'll, again, the means of x and y are given two and minus three means x bar is equal to two, y bar is equal to minus three. Then you find the value of mu and lambda. So, how to find these values mu and lambda? Then, in that case, you, if x and y are satisfying these equations, then order pair x bar y bar also satisfies these equations. So, you replace x and y by x bar and y bar in these two equations, like the previous example. And then, solving these two equations, uh, there you put x bar and y bar. So you know, x bar is two and y bar is minus three. Put in every equation, then you will get lambda and mu. After finding the values of lambda and mu, you find you put here in these two equations the values of lambda and mu, and then there will be two regression lines with the constant terms, and then like the previous example, you find the coefficient of correlation. Means you first find first assume first equation as a regression line of 
y on x second x on y or vice versa condition is only that in last your coefficient of correlation must be less than 1 if it is greater than 1 then you interchange the equations means if we have consider first y on x first equation as regression line of y on x second x on y and your coefficient of correlation is greater than 1 then in that case you interchange means you consider the first equation as regression line of x on y and second y on x and then you calculate the coefficient of correlation that is the solution only so these are the examples on regression lines try to solve these this uh, homework example here you remember that when we uh, consider regression line of y on x then in that case we find the value of y and when we find the value of y the coefficient of x is nothing but your by x regression coefficient y on x and when we find a regression we assume the regression line of x on y then in that case we find the value of x and when we find the value of x then in that case the coefficient of y the term constant value with y is nothing but your regression coefficient x on y means bxy and bxy into byx you do the multiplication and then you take the square root that will be your coefficient of correlation okay so these are the examples on regression lines and this topic regression line is over here and today's session is also over here thank you